Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are going to try new products. For right now it's very early in the morning, uh, almost 7 o'clock, and uh, I want to my makeup and try these new products and get ready for work. And uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, please keep on watching. Now, what I'm going to try is um, or this new foundation that I bought, Melan Concealer and uh, Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Uh, I have in three shades. Now, <laughs> I bought three shades because I didn't really know it was a very good offer. And uh, I think it was on Black Friday sale. And I bought three, all three, four and eight. So I always like to have one or two uh, shades darker foundation than my skin because if I have the same color as my skin then I really look pale every time I wear a foundation that's bright my color everybody asks me how are you feeling are you sick because you look pale every every single time so then when I started using a little bit darker foundation um, never had that problem. I did do swatches with these just to see which color is mine and this is all three a little bit. I think this one will be perfect so we'll try this one today. And I have another product there that lights up foundations uh, that I will want to try and use these but that will be a whole other video so. Other thing that I'm going to try today is these Real Techniques sponges. I, I bought this package with two I already wet this one. It doesn't feel as soft as um, Beauty Blender, but let's give it a shot. And then of course I had to order, and when I saw this, because it was almost impossible for me to buy in Sweden, uh, but I saw this, there goes mascara. Uh, I saw this on the internet and I had to buy it. It's this concealer Maybelline that everybody loves, anti-age, the erase eye, and I had to try it. So I took a light one and uh, see how I feel about this one. And of course I bought Slay All Day setting spray. I had to, this is cucumber. I did try this already and I liked it. And uh, I will definitely, what's wrong with me today? I will definitely prepare my face with this before. I feel my skin is a little bit dry, so that's why. Sorry for my voice, it's very early in the morning. Uh, so let's start. I will uh, take this Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And this is time in the morning when I have a little time and I have to hurry because I have to wake up my children and prepare them to school and kindergarten so now what I like of the, uh, about this foundation is that it has a little bit a little pump up here as you can see I don't know what I think about this sponge it doesn't really blend as well as the beauty blender but I like the foundation so far it, it doesn't feel as soft as the beauty blender at all foundation you don't have to wear concealer that's why it's a two-in-one foundation but I really really want to try that Maybelline concealer so I will definitely use it and I feel like I need a little bit more of a concealer but I like this foundation I think it looks good it's a good coverage 
also. But we'll see, I will uh, check in during the day and see how it stays on my face too. It really f feels creamy. I don't like this sponge. I think it's it's okay sponge, but it doesn't blend as well as the beauty blender and I I don't know something about it it's not as soft now I will take this um, do the Vula liquid bronzer I don't know if it applies bronzer or blends bronzer very well as the beauty blender, I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Now I will set my face for makeup with this one. In the morning I usually don't have time to, usually in the morning I don't have time to bake my face, so just set my makeup. in love with this beauty, oh, beauty blender, in this sponge I think. I'm not in love with this sponge. Uh, it does blend not that well. I won't lie. I don't like this one. It's okay but not as soft as a beauty blender. I will give my full review of this uh, in the end of the day when we check in the last time. Now I will do the rest of my face and uh, yeah see you soon so welcome back now I do have all my makeup finished and uh, we'll see how this works the rest of the day I will just spread this to set my makeup and yeah so we'll see see you soon hi everyone uh, it, now it's 12 o'clock and it has been uh, like five hours since since I did the, my makeup and this is how it looks flawless I like it I love it it still looks good so hi everyone let's go check up it's almost half four at uh, afternoon and uh, it's been over seven hours almost eight hours since I did my makeup and uh, my foundation looks kind of patchy it's almost disappeared my nose and my chin and here you can see my pimple and here so it didn't last all day for me it's really important that it lasts all day because I work long hours and uh, but this is how it looks um, I really like the concealer it didn't it really really looks good so it didn't set on my fan lines so but we'll see in a couple of hours for the last time, I think. So, see you then. Bye. Now, hi everyone, and welcome back. This is the last checkup and the part where I'm going to give my reviews of these products. Uh, let's see closer how it looks. My face is a little bit oily. Uh, now it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and it has been over 14 hours since I put this foundation and concealer on. So when I take out my glasses, don't mind these parts where my foundation is gone, where I have my glasses on. On because that happens with every foundation. Now my nose does look a little bit khaki, if you can see. And now you can see my breakouts. Uh, it's a little bit shiny. I like the concealer, it really covers up everything, but I know it, I don't know if that's if it's foundation or what it is, but it's a bit of khaki on my nose. Uh, my nose looks a little bit dry, 
when the rest of the face is really really oily and shiny and my chin there is no foundation in the, on this part and I don't know if I I can't remember me holding or touching my face I was really trying to not touch my face today just to see if how this foundation works but I still like it I've been outside with my students today or it's about the sponge I like this foundation and I will try it of course applying it in different ways now I love the concealer it really covers up everything doesn't feel heavy let's begin with the foundation now I do like the foundation it doesn't feel heavy on my skin it does make my face a little bit oily but some I can't explain but my nose is very dry and my face is kind of very dry but right now when I'm working many hours like I did today my skin gets oily I don't know if it's stress or what it is but it gets really oily like right now I will definitely try this one again because I have mixed feeling about this one one minute I like it the next minute I don't I will definitely try to apply it with a beauty blender or with a brush just to see if it works better uh, now like I said before this concealer I really love now I understand why everybody else loves it and I will definitely definitely buy more because it was really hard for me to find this in Sweden or to find a website where I can order it and I do like it and uh, it's not expensive at all this setting spray like I said in the morning I did use this couple of times and I'm in love with this one I will definitely buy the others makes my face feel fresh and really hydrated and it does make my makeup stay uh, longer so this one is big big yes I love it I love, really really love it now I'm kind of sad that I didn't buy the other two but that's one thing to look forward to and uh, what to say about this one now I did wash it it does absorb much more water than the beauty blender and it's almost like that diamond real techniques now I have a video about that one too now <laughs> I have to show you I washed beauty blender my beauty blender many 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 times and it still looks great it's not destroyed or anything but please look at this sponge can you see this is from washing it only once. I don't like this. Look, this one. And I was really careful. I didn't do anything different than when I do my wash my beauty blender. I'm really disappointed in their sponges. I don't know if it's just me. Of course, maybe this works terrific to somebody else but I still can't find anything that's even similar to Beauty Blender is it only me? I don't know just because some product doesn't work for me doesn't mean that does it won't work for you and that's what I love about YouTube everybody makes their own opinion reviews about products and things and share with each other and just tell him how they feel about the product and it's up to you to try it and see this one is big now this one is a kind of we'll see give more chances and this one is a big yes so that's what I think about this and this one also is a yes of course now I did use this with my other foundations my Revlon photo ready foundation that I really love this just made my foundation stay even longer yeah please let me know what you think about it uh, about these products if you have your own experience with them let me know if you haven't su subscribed please do that give a thumbs up and, uh, and thank you bye